Hello everyone. I am Karishma from An Inkling of Curry and today we're going to be learning how to make copper plate calligraphy guidelines on Inkscape. Uh so we're going to be doing a 2 is to 1 is to 2 ratio with a 5 mm x height. So before we start off with the tutorial, make sure that you have Inkscape downloaded. I will include a link in the description below so you can do that before we go further. So when you're creating your guidelines, the first thing that you need is a horizontal straight line. To do that, we're going to use this Bezier curve tool right here. So we're going to click on this tool and we want to make the lines like so. So you're going to click on the starting point, extend it and reach the ending point and click again. And you want to, while you're doing this, you want to make sure that your control key is pressed. This ensures that your line is completely horizontal and it's, it's not at an angle. Now that this is done, you want to create multiple lines that are equally spaced and are parallel to the initial line. To do so, we have to duplicate this line by using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl D. So this creates a second line that sits right on top of the original line. Now to create the parallel lines, uh, you just want to go click on object right on top there and go to transform and you want to uh, move the line below by 5 mm so you're just going to enter 5 mm right there in the vertical uh, slot and make sure that your units are in mm and you want to click on apply now we're going to just repeat this procedure for the other lines so you're going to click on ctrl d and just keep clicking on apply till you have six parallel lines Okay, so I'm just going to label these lines to make it a little easier to explain. Okay, so we're going to make the first ascender and the first descender lines dotted. To do so, click on the first ascender, um, right click and choose fill and stroke. Um, yeah, okay. Now we're going to go to stroke style and in the dashes uh, drop down, I'm just going to choose an appropriate uh, dotted line. So I'm just going to choose the one at the bottom here. Yes, and it's done. Okay, I, okay. I realized I had not uh, labeled these correctly. So just going to be adjusting them right here. Okay. Now we have the first descender line which we also want to make dotted. So we do the same thing as before. Uh, right click, fill and stroke, uh, stroke style dashes and we're going to choose the same dashes that we chose for the first ascender. So I just realized these styles are not the same. So we're going to copy the first ascender, click on the first descender, go to edit and just paste style. So now they're both the same style right there. So now that you have this complete block created, you want to extend it all the way to the bottom of your page. Uh, to do so, we're just going to select all of these lines. You're going to hold down your shift key and you're going to click on each line like so. Then you're going to go to object and you want to group all of these lines together. So what this essentially does is it makes all of these lines behave as one unit which will come in handy in the next step. Now you want to perform the same steps that you did for the lines. So you're going to go to object, transform, uh, control D, duplicate those lines and you want to move it down by 30 mm this time. And like before, you want to just continue uh, duplicating it and transforming it till you reach the bottom of the page. Uh, now with the text tool, I'm just going to add these little X's just so I know where my X height is supposed to be. So I've, I've been, I'm doing the same thing like before, duplicating it and transforming it. Okay, so our base guidelines are ready right now. We're just going to select all of it, group it together and just move it up a little bit so it's centered in the page. 
So the next thing we want to include in our guidelines is our 55 degree slant lines. To do so, we're going to choose the Bezier tool and we're going to create a horizontal line like before. Uh, and to make it slanted, we have to just click on it, go to object and transform. Um, and we go to the rotate tab we and we uh, put in the angle as 55 degrees and rotate it counterclockwise and just apply so now we have our 55 degree slant line uh, <laughs> for me i just i always like to measure it so you can just click m on your keyboard and you can measure your angles like so yes so you measure it like it's it's close to 55 so yes it's i'm sure it's accurate so it's fine okay. so once you're done with that you just want to select your slant line um uh, right click fill and stroke and you want to go to stroke style and you want to uh, make it uh, a dotted version okay i chose that one and it's done uh, and I have also reduced the opacity of this line from 100 to 50 so that it just becomes slightly transparent. Now we have to move this slant line into the main guidelines and you're just going to adjust it. Uh, you can adjust it however you like with, with whatever you think looks the best. This is how I did it. So now you want to duplicate and transform these lines again so it just covers the whole sheet. So we're gonna go to the same tool, uh, click on move and we're gonna try different measurements. We're gonna try 15mm first, apply, um, oh no sorry, make sure your vertical movement is zero, yeah sorry. So yes I'm gonna just duplicate it right now. Uh, apply okay 15 mm is too less the lines are too close together so i'm going to try 30 and yes i think that looks good so we're just gonna keep duplicating and applying like before so yeah so we're just gonna create these lines uh till the end of the page and we're gonna create like three or four more that goes uh outside the page as well Okay, so now we just want to do a little cleaning up. You can see that the lines are kind of protruding there. So you just want to select that, hold down your control key and uh, adjust it like so with the corner arrow. You can just do that for the other lines as well. Yep. Okay. Uh, now we also want to extend them to the bottom so that it's covering the whole page so you just again same thing hold down your control key and pull from the corner arrow and yeah you have to make sure that you're always holding your control key otherwise the angle of your line would change and it just wouldn't be parallel it would not be accurate so yeah always hold down your control key i've just sped up the video a bit over here so you can see what i am doing so yeah, and now our guidelines are finally ready. So you can use this sheet as a base for all of your letters or words or whatever you want to create. So I'm just going to give you an example with the letter A right here. So I wrote it down and I vectorized it. And now we can just take this letter and insert it into our guidelines like so. So you just want to reduce the size uh, and adjust it accordingly so that it fits exactly how you want it to. I'm just going to try a little bit of variations here. Just going to zoom in a little bit for you guys to see better. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, I just realized the right side of the line has 
to touch the base so i'm gonna change that yep there you go and in increase the size a bit from the top and again hold down your control key while doing all of your adjusting so nothing changes and now we're going to duplicate this letter reduce its opacity to 30 and do it till the end of the line so i've done it like five or six times i guess i'm just going to do a little bit of adjusting here shift it towards the left a little bit so it looks exactly how i want it to so there you go, you created your first calligraphy worksheet. If you have any further questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Also like, share and subscribe if you want more calligraphy content in the future. And I want to personally thank you for sticking around till the end of this video. I love you guys. Bye bye.